Angels family, welcome to another five with Father, or I should say a seven with Father. And this week we have a few things going on, but I want to share a few reminders. Uh, one of the reminders is that we need to follow the protocols. In the church, things are getting a little bit more busy, and we need to remember that we need to come in with ma wearing masks, sanitize our hands, and keep six foot distance from people outside of our family unit. Uh, we are running tight on space, so it is imperative that we continue to follow the procedures so that we keep everyone safe that is coming into the church. Uh, even with vaccinations, we still need to remain wearing masks as, as we come in. We will also have uh, overflow seating downstairs if necessary for masses so that there's enough space for everyone to be safe and keep the distance and allow everyone who wishes to come to participate and celebrate mass to do so. So overflow seating downstairs for masses uh, as we find the need for it. We also have Restore this weekend. So it's an invitation for everyone to come and join in either in person or virtually and restore is the beginning push of our Lenten practices, that you come and celebrate and experience more of what God is offering. Uh, restore the family to the faith. So please participate Sunday at 1.30 here at Holy Angels for Restore. Join us because it's gonna be fabulous. So Greg Wazinski, a member of our parish, and Carrie Ford will be leading us through this uh, one day event for us to restore our faith, our family, and just be a part of the parish growth. Parish Council is holding elections for new members. And if you're interested in joining Parish Council, please let me know. And if you or a Parish Council member, and if you are uh, participating in parish events, I would like for you to uh, vote for our new parish council members. Parish council will run the election uh, in a few weeks. So please keep on the lookout for the upcoming election ballot, either in person here by paper or on your computer through flock notes. We also have another event coming soon, March 14th. We have uh, Father Mike McCandless coming to not only celebrate mass with us, but to have a vocations breakfast in between. So if you know of any teens or young adults that may be interested in either priesthood or religious life, uh, please invite them to join in the fun with Father Mike McCandless in between the nine and 11 o'clock masses. Please let us know so that we can make sure that we have enough food for you for one, but also that we can reserve a space for you uh, downstairs in the community room to talk and chat with Father Mike McCandless. So a question, how was your first week of Lent? Did you do anything different? Did it feel different to you? And has it brought you closer to Jesus? So in the events that we have in our parish that are additions to our normal offerings, so Thursday, we have Liturgy of the Word with Deacon Jerry, an adoration following from 9.30 to 12. We also have Stations of the Cross at 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock on Fridays. We are also looking for volunteers to lead Stations of the Cross. So if you are a person who has a devotion to the Stations of the Cross, please think of leading our group if you would like to lead that please call us and let us know. That's five with Father. I want to thank you for your participation, your excitement. Oh, I forgot. Fish Fry Fridays, also from five to seven. They've been fabulous and join in the fun. We can use volunteers for that too. So that's seven with Father. Have a great week. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you richly. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.